<laughs> well, Joey, um, relegation officially confirmed today. What's the um, what's the mood with you in the players in the dressing room? There's not there's not really much to, to say to them. You know, just, you, I went in, I thank them for their efforts, and and then you know see them Thursday probably. There's, there's no point um, getting after them. There's no point. You know, they're not bad lads. They're just not at the required level in, in many many departments. And um, as I say that. They haven't wanted to get relegated. They haven't want to have a terrible season, but that, that's the, the, the way it's unfolded for them. And you know they've got to make sure that it never happens again in, in their careers. And you know for me, for me as a coach, uh, you know it's, it's a strange one because I don't think deep down I'll ever accept that that this is a relegation on my CV, albeit it'll live there forever. Um, but I'm absolutely convinced that, 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 that we had our um, processes and. and Things in place, this should never happen. It just shouldn't happen. It, it's, it can happen to you in, in the top divisions and divisions if, if you don't have quality in your building. But in, in the lower leagues, you just have to be fit and organised. That's, that's half the battle. Um, and we've we've gone down uh, having a scrap again today. Ports have had one shot on goal and managed to win the game. You know, we, we could be out here all day. We ain't going to score a goal with, with what we've got going on at this moment. So, um, yeah, looking look into the future and that's all you can do and um, the sooner this season's done and dusted if I can finish it tomorrow and get rid of get rid of them all and uh, you know report dates for, for pre-season I would do but we've got fixtures to fulfil and we've got to give our all um, I've got some lads on the pitch today who have felt have had great attitudes of recent and, and maybe not got minutes and you know that's what we're doing now we're into exhibition football and that's sad it's sad for a football club at this level um, it's, I'm really really sad that it's one of my teams involved in, in, in that and as I say, hopefully this is the last time that this ever happens to me as a coach. The damage wasn't done today. Did you see anything today to encourage you? Or their goal, for example, did that sum it up where it came from your own corner? Yeah, I mean, look, we, 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 we've been here a long time. It's, it's tough because there's moments where you go, OK, if you, if you keep playing like that consistently, and then there's just key moments where you just go, there's nothing we can do about that. We can't coach that. You can't coach people how to play football if they play in a Fratton Park in, in April with three games to go in the season. You can't be teaching people how to play football like that's just a thing, you know. But look, the, the good kids, they're not bad lads, um, and some of them can grow from this and have better careers. Some of them, this might be might be worth having a good look around here today, because this might be the last time you see Fratton Park unless they pull them in a cup. Um, but as I say, you know, right across the board, just not good enough, and we deserve to be relegated. I don't think anyone can argue. It felt raw on Tuesday when we talked about it. I mean, how do you feel having had a few days to reflect on the reality of playing in League Two next season? Yeah, I'm already on with next season. So uh, in my mind, I'm on with next season. As I said to the lads in there, no matter what you do today, lads, I'm not going to start getting after you and effing and jeffing and screaming and giving myself a, a heart attack because, you know, it's not their fault. It's, just, you know, it's not their fault. They're just severely short of, of what you need to be um, if you're going to be a, a footballer and come to places like Fratton Park and win against the side. That's chasing uh, a promotion and it, it's frustrating you've got to stand on the sideline you've just got to watch things unfold that you just know you would never ever um, allow and, and again if I felt they were bad people if I felt they were disingenuous people I, I, I'd take them on and take them to task they're not the great lads if, if, if anything they're too nice if anything you know the, this this is something that possibly won't alter the rest of the careers which is more of a worry um, and hopefully there's a few young ones in there for young Pablo Martinez. Scrap, he's not a centre mid, but he, we've got no midfielders. Uh, and I thought he scrapped and give everything he had. Again, the kid, he's crawled off the pitch. And you know he, that, that goes a long way with me. Probably long term ends up being a centre half for us. But you've got to look around the others and say, who else is crawling off the pitch? You know, we still had a mathematical chance, but I think I think the, the, the horse had bolted Tuesday and I think attitude-wise, I think we've seen uh, the bad side of some people's attitudes Tuesday night. Um, and as I say, relegation, as tough as it is, it doesn't allow the papers, uh, the cracks to be papered over. So we need to get some tough decisions. If it could, I'd empty the whole building out and start again. Um, but that isn't going to be the way because we've got legacy contracts. It'd just be a lot easier to do that, just build the team from the, from the ground up. Um, and we've got some lads who, if they don't come back in absolute top, top shape, then, then they won't be here because we've, we've, got, we've got a losing dressing room. And, and, and I don't like hanging around with losers. I don't like associating myself with losers. Um, and I certainly don't want them in my football club if I have to come in on a daily basis and accept them. There isn't that. It just isn't acceptable for me. We've got too many here, 26 lost today, who just accept losing.
when you're playing the Barrows of the World next year and Harrogates, what kind of players would you like to be playing for Bristol Rovers? What kind of players will you be searching for in the summer? Good players. Um, good players. So everyone thinks Barrow, Harrogate, good players beat you. Fit players who, who've got the required quality beat big stiff players so need to tough league got to be physical got to stand up to the physicality um our center half today they're getting beaten here by wingers so you know it's clearly a big big red flag for me in terms of if they can't go and win an edit against the winger in league one what chance have you got against the big hairy ass league two center forward who's just going to rough you up for 90 90 odd minutes where the ball's coming in your box from every angle so i'm going to have to adjust uh, I know that of, 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 of watching the games of late, I'm going to have to do just aesthetically to what I like to see and what I would normally recruit for to, to get out of League One. Um, and I'm going to have to cut my cloth accordingly. But I guarantee you, the team that turns up from August pre season will be unrecognisable. The football club, as you know it, from a performance and a playing standpoint, will be unrecognisable. Um, and to do that, you know, as a relegation comes, people are going to lose the jobs. That, that's football. Um, and we're not a charity. And, you know, their, their decisions to make. If you stay up and you scrap for your life and you fight, then sometimes the, the cracks can be papered over. But the intention is to put this club in the championship as, as long shot that seems at this moment. And probably people will read and think he's absolutely deluded. Um, and I, I, when I go away and think about it, sometimes I think as well. Um, but I'm confident we can, we can get it done. Confident we can get it done, um, and all I need is what I've had since I come in support. You know, the market's open in a, in a few weeks' time. I need to get cracking. I need to change a losing dressing room into a winning dressing room, and that ain't easy. It's easy if you've got a couple of billion and someone's able to pull a few barrels of oil out the ground to, to get it for you, or um, move a few uh, the stocks and shares around to, to create a bit of a, a slush fund. Um, but there's enough players in the market, six, 600 players out of contract this summer, and I guarantee you I'll find 11 that'll do the quarters proud. Thank you.